All right, guys, here we are at C in uh, Cedar Rapids at European Motors again. EuropeanMotorsIowa.com. We got a nice little 73 uh, 450SL. Uh, this is one of the early years on the R107 chassis. So it's got the nice, uh, what we call Euro bumpers, but really these were also the early USA spec bumpers before the 74 uh, big bumper requirement came in. This was purchased out of an estate where they had actually a couple of SLs and another vintage Mercedes sedan. Uh, this car has not seen road use for probably the last 10 years prior to us getting a hold of it and we got it running. We installed a new gas tank and kind of went through it uh, mechanically so, uh, so that it can be driven and run. The cars had a prior respray in spots so this is not the original paint in most of the areas what I, from what I can tell. It does present itself fairly well. It's got the nice uh, uh, painted hubcaps which I think are really cool on the early cars with the small bumpers. I think they call this the Palomino color interior. Under here, I know we'll have photos of it. We won't pop this open, but it's got a brand new or fairly new uh, uh, chocolate brown cloth top that's in good shape. Missing the trunk mat. And I think there was some surface rust in here and our uh, detail department just top coated it to try and help protect it. Right in there. Underneath looks fairly solid. I did notice a couple of patch panels here and there, but for being a med Midwest car, pretty nice. We got some paint flaws right here. We got a scratch that's had some touch up, some touch up near the gas fill. Kind of shoot down around for all you guys. Kind of see what you're getting. Engine runs nice, the transmission shifts as should be expected. down on the rockers for you. Good driver quality car. This is not going to be a Concours car, but it's a car that you could drive around in the summertime and be proud of. But if you're looking for a, a perfect example, this is not it, but I'd say this is a nice quality example. Looks like there's a patch right in here that you can see, but they did a pretty good job with that. So let's go take it for a spin real quick. We do have the six digit odometer on this car. So it's showing 77,064 miles and it does work. There's the trip at 40, and that's probably about how many we've put on it since we got it running to just kind of work the bugs out. Radio works. Gang is back. So we won't play with that. You got a couple of dash cracks here, and just some cracking for Mage down here on the console. This car is well on its way to being 50 years old, and it has not been restored. I hesitate to use the word survivor because of some of the the repaint on the outside, but yeah, you might call this a survivor unrestored car. It was stored in a cement floor. Uh, I don't want to say barn or kind of a pole building type uh, thing with some Model A's and the other SLs and Mercedes that we purchased. Prior to that, all the cars sat for about 10 years. And from what I understand, this was his wife's car. And he had his own SL and she had this SL. 
So they knew these cars and loved these cars. You can see it drives really nice. Oil pressure is at 45 uh, bar, or pounds, I'm sorry. And uh, I don't see it, well, it's maybe moving a little bit off the peg. I'm not sure if that gauge works or not. We'll take a right here. We do have the top down, so you're gonna get a little wind noise. I apologize for that. Turn indicators seem to work. I'm gonna guess that clock does not work. There's pretty much 50, 55. Got up there nicely. The suspension's nice. There's no clunks or anything that of note. And we'll run it down this ramp. Well, there's 65. Goes down the road nicely. The wheel's nice and straight. Brake pulsation. Nice little cruiser there. And it looks like everything's working gauge wise. The temp is up. Temp is up. The only one there is the oil pressure. I'm just not sure it should be quite that high. So, yeah. nice little driving car. 73 450 SL. Check out our other videos. We're gonna do uh, maybe an underbody and then a light check, but EuropeanMotorsIowa.com. Give us a call, 319-393-8496, or feel free to uh, chat with Tommy, or uh, my name's Pete. You can also talk with Susie, and we'll try and describe this car the best we can. 73, 450, SL, R107 chassis, a state car. Thanks for watching.